Hello, just a quick battery testing video. I have this Lenovo laptop and it works great, no problem at all, except the original battery, which became very weak. So I decided to try this cheap replacement from China. It was uh, around $13 on eBay with free shipping. And it's supposed to be almost the same capacity as the original battery. And let's see if uh, it is as good as they claim. Here is the original Lenovo battery and the capacity is marked here, 57 watt hours. The replacement has 58 watt hours which is almost the same and it's also specified in milliamp hours 5200 milliamp hours the new battery came with these instructions and in particular here we have new battery break-in process they suggest to fully charge it overnight with the computer turned off and then give it uh, free full charge discharge cycles Here it is, fully charged for about 8 hours and I prepared these two pieces of wire, slightly flattened the ends just enough so that I can insert them into the connector. And I'm going to discharge it using my electronic load at 1 amp. So the battery should last about 5 hours. Connected and ready to go. Let's start my data capturing. Let's go. Here is the result of the test. Uh, the time here is in seconds. I didn't have time to improve this software and we cannot explore this graph. I simply loaded the data into Octave with a few commands here. And here is a graph which we can explore. When I move my mouse, uh, here we can see the coordinates so we can measure precisely and we see that it took 214 minutes i divided the time by 60 here so uh, this uh, axis is in minutes here i printed out the graph and did some calculations 214 minutes is 3.57 hours and because we discharged at 1 amp, we multiply this by 1 amp. So we measured uh, 3570 milliamp hours, which is about 69% uh, of claimed uh, 5200 milliamp hours. And it is quite disappointing. I think I need to charge the battery again and try this experiment again and perhaps a couple times more because they insist on three full cycles in the instructions. I fully charged the battery pack again and this time I doubled the wires just to eliminate the possibility that poor connection might uh, affect our measurements. So, I ran two more experiments and they were surprisingly consistent. I got 
214 and 213 minutes respectively. This was discharge number two and discharge number three. I believe the um, three cycle requirement in the break-in instructions is really about um, internal management uh, chip learning more about the cells, gathering more data, so it can uh, predict the runtime better for that battery gauge we see in the computer. So, I am disappointed, but not surprised. I had similar experience before with the camcorder batteries. I have a few videos about them. Only the fourth battery I bought and measured uh, turned out to have capacity uh, which was claimed on the package. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.